Cool. Um, welcome to another success story episode of another success story with Blue Chain of Kid Fitness. Um, today, I welcome my amazing client, Kim. Thank you again, Kim, for taking the time out um, today for sharing your story um, to hopefully help inspire others on a health and fitness journey and become more. Um, as a brief way of starting today, um, could you introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Yeah, of course. So um, my name's Kim. Um, I live in Cheltenham. I'm 30. Um, and how, what, it's been just over a year that we've yeah. been working for a yeah. year and four months. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So I um, I'm, um, work for corporate. Um, I have a desk job. Um, obviously, with current lockdown, I'm working from home um, and have been for almost a year. Um, but I'm sort of, you know, semi into fitness. I'm not like a gym junkie or anything. Um, I just, you know, keep healthy and keep in shape and we're not getting any younger. Sure, <laughs> so, cool. yeah, that's me. Excellent. Um, what was like your situation before we started working together? Uh, what made you choose to use my services? Um, so I have had a couple of PTs in the past before, um, whether they've like worked in gyms or they've had like a home um, gym set up um, where I've gone to them. Um, but I've never worked with like a PT in a gym because um, I think previously I was a bit sort of anti-gym um, or like I just had like budget, you know, simply gym membership. Um, and then I went to sort of a bigger gym um, and had a sort of, friend slash PT um doing sort of like some programs and things like that for me um which didn't really work out um then I joined um small group fitness classes um and sort of did those to fit around my sort of day but I was finding those a bit difficult um you even though it's a small group you're not really getting that kind of one-to-one -one attention that I probably need um to make sure like I'm doing things properly or you know I'm doing the right thing and I'm therefore like going to get the best out of it um so I found I wasn't really getting the results that I was expecting or that I was wanting um for kind of what I was paying for smaller group PT um so I left there and sort of went back again to a big gym that kind of I think was just really overwhelmed with you know why I was there what I was doing I just stick to kind of the cardio equipment I wouldn't really want to touch the weights whereas I did a bit of that in the group PT and I actually really enjoyed it but I think in conventional gyms it's really difficult um, to sort of go into that section and feel comfortable if you don't really know what you're doing and if you don't really know what you're doing I guess like I'm a bit kind of risk adverse I'd be a bit kind of what am I doing am I going to hurt myself and then again, I'm probably just going to be back in a cycle of what I'm doing isn't giving me any benefit. It's not doing what I want to do. Um, and like I said at the beginning, like I'm not a gym junkie. Like I don't understand lots about gyms and fitness and what to do to achieve certain goals that I want. Um, so I think gyms are just far too overwhelming for me and just far too confusing for me you just go in there where you you can't have stuff in your house basically excellent and a lot of people are just listening into this um video will resonate a lot because a lot of we say current and past clients have been in a similar situation where you were they go into a gym they don't really know what to do and where to start and they, they are let me say there is a fear of obviously doing something but not doing it correctly more so hurting themselves so a lot of like, we say female clients like yourself, or a lot of male clients as well in the past have been down that road. So yeah, um, I can resonate a lot of, as I said, others can resonate with where you're coming from here as well. Um, I guess looking back, um, wh what reservation, if any, did you have um, working together or starting out, if any? Um, I don't really think I had any it was actually quite funny because when I was looking and I was like reading people's like different profiles and like websites and stuff it's actually quite funny that like you were ex-military and I <laughs> I think you mentioned on your website like even though I was in the military like I'm not a boot camp instructor but I kind of knew you'd have certain like skills about like being able to push through and like deal with things and like have the resilience and like I think the other thing that that probably 
gives you in a way is um and I mean this just might be you in general you know if you're if you don't understand something there's five other ways that you can explain it whereas I've worked with some of the people in the past and it's like if you can't do it the way that I'm showing you how to do it like let's just move on and do something else and that's really disappointing because like if you really enjoy doing something like I don't know say you're you actually really fancy like deadlifting you see it all over Instagram you're like I want to be one of those people like dead the Friday you know <laughs> you you won't just go you can't deadlift and let's move on to something else you will go right here is this way or we'll build it up by doing this and there's no sort of expectation from you that you're meant to go in there and know everything straight away like you treat everybody as if they're starting from the basics even if they have got a little bit, bit of experience or like not so that that was quite good and I again I mean I just kind of put two and two together there um and kind of <laughs> I guess made some assumptions about your background but I guess that kind of came to fruition and it, it was sort of you know all true um but yeah I don't think I had any kind of like negative um reservations at all um there was like lots of positive things you know I I again going back to what I was saying about bigger gyms you know I liked the smaller gym setup because even if I thought you know we've got one-to-one sessions you know if there is other people um you know there it's it's not going to be loads of people they're not going to do what they do in the big gyms and stare at you and you know you're kind of there all like they're waiting for you to move on and get off something when you're just trying to like take your time doing it so yeah that was kind of there was a lot more better like the benefits outweighed um, any sort of negatives, but I don't think there were any that I could think of in the beginning. Excellent. Um, like, as you know, like for me, like it's all about you, the client. It's never like about my personal, let me say, ego, what, what about what I want to do on that day. It's all about listening to you, the client, and working, uh, coming up with a plan or a structure or a program to fit your needs, really. Um, and as you said, like I try and treat everyone um, of my clients. As a client, as an individual, and not like a group of people using the same method, day in, week in, trying to get the same results. So, like as you said, I've always trying to listen to you when you come in. What it is, is uh, you feel a one hundred percent, or feeling fifty percent. I try and change or uh, modify things to fit your needs on a weekly, daily basis, basically. That's it. Cool. And as as you said, like even for the military background, I'm not into shouting. Uh, scaring people because I know from personal <laughs> experience that does not always work with everyone uh, maybe one percent of the population will need shouting at and need that type of training but the majority of people just need let me say have you need to have empathy for people because you got to understand where people is coming from and develop things for the as an individual to help them because f- with fitness there's no really there's no end date per se it's all about looking at the bigger goal the distance down the road to try and help you from day one to think about, could you be doing this in five, six, seven, ten years down the road? What way when I'm not there? And that's my, it was a part of my end goal as well when I have a client. Yeah, and if you shout at me, I'll probably throw something at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll shout back. I probably shout back. I throw something. <laughs> You're strong enough to do that now, anyway. <laughs> Take you on. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, like, I guess. People listening in, what has been like we say the process working together thus far? Um God, I'm trying to think back like 14 months ago. I think in the beginning it was like you have to just go in there with like a really open mind. Um if you're someone who is like me and you go in and you've you feel like you've tried everything, you go into something new and you have to have that open mind to just trust in the process and I think you we got together like on a on a random day I think it was like a Sunday morning and you know we sat down and talked like an hour and a half about you where you take people and you know how it's a journey and how this is a big investment um because there's there's no point like I mean I cannot even you probably be well I think we've talked about it before but you'd be horrified with like the amount of money I've spent previously like trying to get to where I want to be and I mean we're talking I mean I'm 30 now and I've probably been trying since maybe 24 like you know you kind of you get past the party stage and you're like oh there's nights out (laughs) being pounds now and you you constantly like battling against that so 
I kind of walked in really open-minded to sort of trust in the process and I guess for a lot of people that might be a little bit difficult um, to kind of hand over that control to somebody else but you almost like need to do that because if you I think a lot of the people that are going to like be like me and reach out to you they're going to be maybe a little bit lost they're going to have tried everything and nothing's worked um or maybe they're actually because if if this was me and I was talking to my 24 year old self I'd be like just go to, to Luciano like straight away like cut out all that middle stuff like cut out all the rubbish you've tried before whether that's you like the DIY version of going to a gym or trying to muddle through like a space that isn't for you like small group PT or an exercise you don't particularly like um or group sports or something like just go and do it because you're going to end up here anyway um and yeah be really open-minded because I think in the beginning I was like oh my god well I've never even tried any of these exercises like I need to work on this part of my what well, I want this part of my body to look better so shouldn't I constantly be doing this type of exercise and you were like where have you got this rule book from and I was like I don't know probably like social media and the internet and you were like can you please just stop googling things and trust in my process and I was like actually yeah you know what that's what I do need to do because why would I why would I reach out to you if I knew it all I wouldn't be in the situation I was in if I knew it all anyway um so I think that's the thing you need to throw the rule book out the window like forget everything you've known before like contact you have that first meeting and then you just go from there and you don't really have to think after that I think I've said that before like my job and my day-to-day life is full-on it's sometimes stressful I have to pack a lot into every single day so to be able to like rock up for PT and just hand the control over to you and to just trust in that process and for you to be like, right, this is what we're doing today for you to achieve your goals, which is completely individual to me, is the best thing and worth, it's, it's priceless in a way. Um, and you just don't get that anywhere else. I've never experienced that anywhere else anyway. Well, thank you very much for reaffirming that and much appreciated. Um, like as I said, um, it, yeah, it's very hard for like, um, I guess we say any clients who have failed, like tried any method in the past and like we say hasn't worked for them. They usually come with this, like, I guess this veil of like failure as thinking like, I can't achieve this, this can't be possible. This is just another marketing fluff. And like, like as I always said to my clients, them are people who I met is like, I'm not here to sell people a pipe dream. Yes, there is going to be effort. There's going to be days when it's going to be hard. There's going to be easy days. But a lot of it is, is, trusting somebody, giving somebody to help, because let's face it, no one knows everything. Even myself, I'm always learning. And what I learn, I transfer it down the line to like with the clients like yourself, because like, if I know, if I'm not willing to open my mind as well, I won't be able to help you, the clients down, we say, at the end of the tier, because like, the way I look at not only pity, but the wall and said, in general, everybody needs somebody. Um, no, no man or woman is an island by themselves. So. It's, it's good to like have that open mindset because like I could like for my own personal experience um earlier on I was like we said like when you do a course you think you know everything but really like every time you go on a course or learn something or read a book it's kind of like thinking Jesus I don't really know anything and is it I guess it's the same way with clients as well they got to like be open-minded and think like well okay maybe I've tried a lot of stuff before and in fact the way I look at it is it's not necessarily you, the clients, or any clients fail. It's the method that you use in previously has failed you. Um, and that's something I always think is like, I've tried a lot of stuff as well and it hasn't worked out. And like, it's not necessarily always the person who's delivering it or whatever. It's something the way it's delivered, the way it's come across, the way it's communicated, that's really dig- undigestible, uh, practical. So I guess the way I like for me is like, I like to keep things as simple as possible. And I'm trying to transfer that as well to you, the clients down the road as well. Does that make sense? So yeah, anyone listening to this? Yeah, um, it is. It's just, it's, you got to be like coming with an open mindset, be able to be, be, be coachable in a sense to, for yeah. things to move forward, really. Um, I guess the other question I will ask is like, what has been one or, the, one or two the best results you've gotten so far over this last year and a bit, or year and four months or so, um, working together? 
Um, I think the best thing is, um, like, I've definitely had changes um, in kind of like my midsection has been my biggest change, which I personally, like, never thought would change. Um, it's it's funny because, like, I went in with so much, like, well, like I was going back saying about the rule book, like I'd made all these rules up for myself and so much of that would have just come from, like, the culture that we're in, you know, don't eat carbs and don't eat this and, you know, you need to be eating, like, a thousand calories a day, like, to look skinny and, you know, all this sort of stuff and, in the last like 14 months, like it's almost been a real like education for me to learn all about like recomposition. You know, I didn't have stones and stones of, you know, weight to lose or anything like that. It was about kind of toning up what I had. I knew I wasn't going to change from like, you know, uh, you know, from my normal dress size, I was always going to stay the same. I just didn't want to like wobble (laughs) and um you know that that has been my biggest change like so much of my body has like toned up and you know I don't have to be scared about like going into my 30s with like you know the body that I had when I was a lot younger like I've probably actually like my goal is like give it another six months and I'll be better than when I was when I was like in my 20s you know (laughs) so that has been like a massive education because you've kind of said to me like you can eat what you want you know you just have to track it and I mean well you know me I've got very into my tracking and um I like record loads of things which is really helpful like I don't think you can walk in and um you know do all the exercise stuff if you're not doing everything else like at home you can't like rock up to a session and do an hour and then swing by like McDonald's on the way home like it doesn't work like that and there's no point of you like investing in us if we're not going to like invest in ourselves as well so it's about doing those things that you need to do as well and once I understood that I probably didn't understand that for maybe like the first three four months um but once we got to around like February 2020 I was like yeah okay do you know what if you throw yourself into that 100% because that's been a problem previously you've gone into it at 50 or 60 percent and that's probably why you never got anything out of it you haven't got a magic wand that can you know fix my situation by spending four hours a week together I can't work out how many well I want there's 20 other hours in every other day like I'm in control of that and I need to do the right things in that time um to get the results that I want and when I started doing that in conjunction with what we were doing it's been like well what my body fat percentage loss is like eight percent now I think so that's between eight to twelve I think or something like that yeah yeah. so that's like crazy like and I mean my life hasn't necessarily changed I just spend more time like you know, obviously I spend the time with you in the week and I spend some time tracking my food. But apart from that, it's not like I've had to upend my life. Like I've been living in a boot camp for the last, you know, um, 16 months. It's just been, this is just my lifestyle now. And this is what I do. And I just prioritize my food and my fitness. And there's been a massive change. And I think then you've got the like little wins. So, you know, being able to go right, where was I at the beginning and and what could I lift and what weights was I using and like where am I up to now and like what can I do and every single time I have one of those it's like a big confidence boost because it's like (laughs) it's like you know we we go from like you know weights you could just throw around a bit and now it's like you know we're working with some really heavy stuff like don't mess with me (laughs) that's the thing it's like (laughs) Eyes <laughs> that could crush men's souls. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like I can say like that's what I want to achieve, and you're like, okay, we'll do that. <laughs> well, I was about to ask what how tangible, t- what tangible things that mean in real life. But I guess like having ties that crush men's soul, I might use that as my new logo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have a new tagline. <laughs> Exactly. That's excellent. 
Cool. Um, I guess, do you feel like at this point in time, like if you was to say like, you know what, next month I'm going to stop this. Um, do you think I've given you the fundamental tools, the strategies to like do this on your own in the future when you decide, decide it's time to move on? Um, yeah, like I would be a lot more confident like going into a gym and knowing like how to do an exercise properly and like knowing where like, you know, form, I guess, but I mean, that might not make sense to everybody. So I don't really want to use that word, but you know, your positioning and, you know, how to do it properly and how to prevent injury and, you know, what to do at certain times, you know, you don't go in and like hammer yourself every single day because you're probably not going to get anywhere. You know, you do kind of need to cycle it a bit. However, I, the type of person that I am, I would still rather work with someone and make sure that it's 100% right. And I think a lot of that comes from the journey that I've been on and that like, I wouldn't want to give up just yet. Um, I would rather we work together, you know, one day a week or two days a week um, than completely just stop and, and give up yeah. um, only because I'm never going to have all the knowledge that you know about stuff. And I still ask loads of questions all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've still got like a lot to understand about myself and like what works for me and like my body type and my lifestyle. Um, and I would really miss like the, the gym setup that we have, you know, the, the reset in town and um, yeah, I just, I don't know, in a way, like I don't see myself going back. Um, okay. Okay. But if I did, you know, I, I don't know if you decided you were going to, I don't know, move to the other end of the country, I'd be devastated, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, and, and I couldn't find anybody or I didn't, you know, want to do that again or something like I could get on. Okay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't be looking to do that like anytime soon. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Um, excellent. Um, like, I guess, what will you say to others who might be on the fence listening to this video? Let me say from a local perspective or an online perspective in the world, um, who, who's come across Luciano uh, Kid Fitness um, profile, whether in social media or website. Um, what will you say about to others wanting to use my service or maybe wanting to use my services? I think, I think there's probably going to be like two kinds of people that sit on the fence. I think there's going to be the people that think you, I need to do, I need to do something and I need to start something. And in that time, they're just going to a gym and like walking around thinking, what do I do? Or they've got stuff popping up on their Instagram and their Facebook saying, you know, drink this tea and you'll lose like a stone in a week, which is just such a lie. You are wasting your money. <laughs> and if you have like, I'm going to sound like a marketing plea, but if you've done either of those two in the last or pre lockdown or during lockdown, if you've bought anything online thinking that it will make you lose weight, or if you followed diet after diet after diet and you're not seeing anything like you need to stop doing that and you need to reach out and you need to do it properly because those things like aren't the proper way. Um, it's not easy. And I'm not saying that it's easy. And I mean, what in the last, like we laugh every day, but I probably cry every other week because <laughs> it's not, it's not easy. You know, I, but you have to, be ready you've said this before like you have to want to change and you have to be ready to and you have to be open to that um so if you are trying those other things you're not going anywhere you just need to do it because you won't look back and you won't want to look back because you'll all of a sudden start moving forward for the first time um and if that's what you want if you want to move forward if you want to move away from where you currently are then you need to reach out and you need to get that first session booked to go through all that stuff that you took me through and that is just the first stage and then you basically you know take over for a bit and 
you know, you as a client then just has to learn for a little while and you, and you will like make mistakes and stuff along the way, like I did. And there was stuff that I did wrong and that, but you know, you just have to basically pick yourself back up again and put yourself back on the horse and keep going. And then if you're the other type of person who has maybe been doing this for a really long time mm-hmm. and maybe you're quite competent in the gym um, and you think actually, yeah, you know what, you know, I just do the same thing every day and, you know, I go out or, you know, my job's really active or I eat really well, but I'm not really getting anywhere and I've kind of hit this plateau. Then again, you know, you need to reach out because I think for a while we were kind of trying certain things and you know not everything was going to work all the time everybody's body is different everybody's lifestyle is different um everybody's diet's different so I think for us it was like a bit trial and error at the beginning and now we've kind of found something that really works so I kind of in a way like sat almost between those two groups like I was the terrible person that would think right if I drink this tea for 14 days like I'll look amazing by the end of it and I mean when you knew me like my relationship with food was appalling and like I still got a way to go with that but I also like had a bit of experience from being in gyms in the past and wasn't really getting anywhere so again I kind of had to come with come to you with all that baggage and you had to sort it out so I think everybody's got like fitness baggage we're gonna call it (laughs) and you basically sort it all out take all the bits and pieces out that they don't need and sort out a program so like why why would you spend any more of your money on diets or teas or pills or whatever and why would you spend all your time like going to the gym not going any like not getting anywhere just like booking that first session and let you work it out and then you can work together to actually move forward. I guess, yeah, that's probably, I've just said that in a really long-winded way, but if you are stagnant, if you are stuck, if you reach out, like you will start moving forward. Cool, thank you very much. Um, all my marketing for the rest of my life is, is said right there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, move forward, just, thank thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, cool. Um, as a female, and and a male coach, um, do you think I have like the know how to help, like we say, females out there, like in your situation, regardless if they're in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, or even in the 60s, um, to, uh, have the knowledge to help you overall as a female? Yeah, definitely. Like, I don't see any difference really. Like, you know, PT is a PT like you're going to get good ones and bad ones but I don't think it really you know matters if they're male or female like you guys learn all the same sort of stuff you know you have a good understanding and it's not like you think I'm mad if I'm waving Instagram in your face saying I would look like that you'll tell me realistic time scales but (laughs) or what I need to do to achieve it but it's not like you look at it and go I don't understand what you're looking at you know I don't understand like we made jokes about the Kardashians and you know you you know that sort of stuff like you get it you get kind of popular culture and I think like um it doesn't matter you know that you're like a guy like you get what women want and like what we need to do and you get that like as you go through different stages in your lives, like your needs will very much change. Um, You know, if you are older and, you know, things, your metabolism is slowing down a little bit, you know, there are ways you can do things a bit differently. And, you know, you get all those other sort of like little nuances that happen throughout different stages. And then even if there's something that, you know, I'm saying, or I've read something online and it says something differently, you know, you, can answer and I'm asking you a question you can answer that question or if you don't know you're happy to go away and find out it's not like you just go like oh that's just like a girl thing or like you know that just relates to women like I very much take like a general approach um because you coach both you go actually do you know what I think I've got that in a book somewhere or you know let me go and ask you know, somebody that I might know, or, you know, there's a course coming up, like, I'll make sure I, you know, I'm going to ask that question. Um, So you're very open to, like, understanding more if you come across something that you're not sure about. Yeah. Um, And I think, like, the other thing is, you know that 
um well we've all got it I mean if anybody is listening to this has like a boyfriend or a husband or whatever they go out and go for a jog like three times a week and next minute they've dropped like a stone and it takes you like three months like and you just want to but the you know you don't have those like unrealistic time scales um or you, you don't think we're mad if we say like we want to look a particular way because I think you get that we're bombarded with like a lot more um well it's just society in general like yeah. we've got a lot more like pressure on ourselves and you have to constantly even remind me like you have to forget about all that and just focus on you you know you aren't going to look like xyz and you aren't going to look like this person because you don't know what that person eats and you don't know what that person does like that person does this for a living like you know you know you don't have eight hours in the day that you can just spend in like your gym you know working your socks off and like eating carrots so you've got that understanding of our thought process of our thought pattern of like the world we live in and I think that's really helpful because I've worked with people before that don't necessarily understand that and it's really difficult and then you just find like you get really frustrated and you can't concentrate on what you're doing or you just think this person's like you know understanding your personality is like not really aligned to like my understanding and my goals um so I'd probably say like even more than some female PTs that I've worked with you have a far better understanding of working with women than other people cool thank you very much um and I, as I said I always keep learning um because every client comes they comes with a different story a different beginning and it's my job to try and help them along this journey and as working with like a female over the years, you got to like understand like every female go through different pattern. Even tr- throughout the week, throughout the month, actually, uh, there's so much things going on from a female perspective that you as a as a male trainer need to understand when you're coming on from a hormonal perspective as well. Um, and you gotta make, make sure you gotta respect people boundaries and where they are, where they're starting, and the frustration. So yeah, um, thank you very much for that um, feedback. Much appreciated. Um, and I guess my final question is. Did we use any restrictive diet and methods and sustainable training program exercises throughout the last year, year and a plus to get any results? Um, there wasn't anything like that we did that was restrictive. Like that, I mean, you probably told me to lay off some of my boozy weekends, <laughs> but that was more, you know, for myself. But um there was nothing that was like you can't eat carbs or you can't eat this or you can't eat that you know you shouldn't be having um you know I don't know like fizzy drinks or something or like you you have to cut out alcohol there's no I actually don't think you ever use the word no unless I say like can I go home early (laughs) (laughs) the um and that's really good because I think like people do have to fit it into like their lifestyle or fit it into like what they do now um because I think if you try and throw that much change at a person like they just freak out and then they won't do anything um I mean you know me like I didn't as was a a bit of a weird journey like it was almost again I, I mentioned earlier like changing my relationship with food um I'd made up so many rules and like made up a diet in my head and you had to very much like drag me <laughs> away from that but it wasn't like you had to drag me like kicking and screaming because I probably would have been a bit like that it was slow and it was like at my own pace because I think I think looking back now like you knew that if you just said to me you need to change what you're eating and you need to eat more and you need to eat differently I would have just the wall would have gone up and there'd be no breaking it down and i would have very much like panicked at that point I think and I think you recognize that and you're like right we need to do this slowly so like even if you have one or two days a week where you're um you know eating the amount of calories that you need to eat eat and then then you started feeding in like you need to be having a lot more protein and it was very much like not you're not doing this right or you're doing this wrong or you need to do this or you won't get the result or you'll be failing um or good luck to you because you're not doing this right it's very much like right okay well this week let's try and achieve this or let's try and get to this goal and like report back about like how you felt doing that and I think actually it was um well it was January you put me on a bit of a food plan because I 
I said, you know, I wanted to kind of mix it up a bit and I hit a bit of a plateau and I kind of wanted to see if I'd have a bit of a change, um, doing something a little bit different. Um, but I did struggle. Um, you know, I, I said, I would do a month of like a more stricter food plan, which for me was different foods, um, eating much bigger meals, um, and things like that. And we just kind of kept an open dialogue. You know, I told you how I was feeling about it at a couple of like really bad days, um so I scaled it back a bit and you were like you know what if that is better for you I'd rather you be doing something that you're comfortable with and that you're happy with um rather than like forcing you to do something that you don't want to do because what is the point of that what is the point about going on this journey and hating every second of it because you'll just want to get off you know and fall off the wagon and just then you know you just go back to all your bad habits or old habits basically um so no there was never any like you have to do this or even you have to do this particular exercise if you want to look this way you know nobody can consistently um do the same thing over and over again and and nobody's lives are the same like sometimes I've had a knee problem like you know my knee is a bit sore so we change it up a bit um or you know I've said like I hate this particular exercise it feels really uncomfortable um you know, like my back's going to give out or something like that. And, you know, you'll go, actually, do you know what? We'll just change it. Um, but you're very good at, I mean, not that I ever sort of make up excuses. I don't think I do. I whinge a lot. <laughs> but, um, you, you know, you never say, like, well, you have to do this. So you just have to suck it up. Like, I don't care if you feel uncomfortable. This is how you're meant to achieve things. And that goes back to what I was saying. Like, you know how to explain something five different ways. You know how to achieve something five different ways. Um, so it's not about like being restrictive and saying there's one way to do this it's multifaceted there's loads of ways that you can achieve your goals whatever they are and you have that toolkit to do it whichever way you need to do it cool thank you very much man. much appreciated for your feedback today um yeah very insightful um from your own perspective i'm going deeper today and we probably normally do sometimes um, again, I would like to say thank you very much, Kim, for taking the time out thank today. Um, much appreciated for um, your effort over the last year plus. Um, digging deep each week, uh, regardless if you are 10% or 100%, you turn up, you, you give your 100% in your own way. And I, was, I will always respect that with you and the clients. Um, and as the same like anyone watching this video, it's for me as a personal trainer, fitness isn't a one hour thing. Um, it's a lifestyle. Um, there's no end date, actually. That's the way I look at it. There's no end date. There's like, regardless of your come and spend three months with me, a year, four years, 10 years, fitness is something that is a life. You, because without, to me, like fitness is like just as, as up there with breathing air. You know what I mean? Um, because like the more healthier, the more fitter you are, the more better your life in general we're going to be. Um, um, hopefully, someone watching this as well, hopefully it, you been inspired by Kim's story, her journey so far. Um, and if you're looking to, let me say, get stronger, get fitter, lose weight, um, and just overall want to look and feel better in and out of your clothes, um, please reach out um, and to get, get, in, get in touch either via social media or via my website at www.kidfitness.co.uk, uh, info at kidfitness.co.uk, um, or on Facebook, Luciana Kid. Um, and I look forward to helping you on. Again, thank you very much, Kim, for sharing your inspiring story. And um, I'm always grateful for clients like yourself who, um, who we say, is open-minded and willing to share the journey, but more so um, improving itself on a personal level. So you know, that's, that's very powerful in itself. I'm wanting to be more in not only in life, but in fitness in general. Um, thank you again for sharing your journey this afternoon. That's appreciated. Cool. Yeah. Thanks.